Hey guys, Strangers is here with another video for you today. Today, I want to do something a bit different. I wanted to finally show off a game I've been wanting to show off for quite a while because I've had access to it for months now, but I uh, never got around to it until recently for multiple different reasons. There's not, you know, being enough content and stuff like that. But I'm finally getting to it. This is a game called the Sandbox. Pretty much, it's, a, it's Gary's Mod 2. Or you can consider it a spiritual successor to Gary's Mod. And I have to say, it's amazing what people have, you know, created so far with this sandbox game. And it, it just blows my mind. Like, when this game releases, it, it's going to be big. Like, there's obviously some naysayers and whatnot. But those are just, you know, few, few people with few little hope. And, you know, probably just sick of the current way of uh, modern gaming. But um, yeah, I believe this game is easily going to succeed because it's obviously being made by the same person who bought us Gary's Mod <laughs> and bought us other games like Rust and whatnot. And those games are <laughs> successful. So, <laughs> like those games have been run for many years and still getting update and support years later like when when gary's mod come out 2004 2001 i think, I think 2004 sorry but yeah yeah let's just jump right into it okay guys so to start off this is a block party or arcade or something yeah you thought i was gonna start off with some type of fps shooter didn't you but yeah no this just shows you like you can create any type of game you want like it's crazy like what the heck like this is a very simple and basic game but hey it is what it is don't know why my character runs on his own oh yeah it's very basic very simple but it looks super dope i love the art style even though you know it's simplistic it's not much just faces a guy running around in a blue background. <laughs> but, oh, okay. Almost got me. But it shows you, like, the possibilities, unlike with, uh, you know, Gary's mod. You can do way more than just, like, third person or F... Or, like, a FPS game mode type of stuff. You can do so much more with this. That's what it looks like when you die. Alright, so let's move right along. Alright guys, so that uh, I messed up the name. The last game was actually called Budget Boy. Don't know why. Yeah. So this is called, I believe it's at Sausage Party. Fortunately, this requires a keyboard and a mouse. But yeah, look at this. It's super simplistic, super basic, but... I mean, look at this, you literally, it's, it's like one of those mobile ads, mobile apps, when I say ads, <laughs> mobile apps on, you know, mobile phones and whatnot, but it's not pay to win, and there's no ads, actually, <laughs> crazy. Yeah, very simple mode, you just throw stuff at zombies, you collect money. Look at that and you buy power-ups and whatnot so let's see what this okay I don't know the controls so I so oh, it's basic to do that oh okay just procs at random okay that's good to know random proc gotcha gotcha so I'm guessing you just set anything on fire oh is that gonna blow up Nope, it's just money. Ooh. More choices. I don't know what clutch shot is. Uh, HP growth. So you can set things on fire. Um, 
I originally tested this, it wasn't shooting automatically like it's doing now. Don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so I got a shield. Now I can move a bit faster. This is crazy. Got a big guy over here. Probably drops more. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, he explodes it. Okay, so I gotta be a little bit more risky here. Because if I'm not, I can't get the freaking money. Level up. Also, I gotta be smart. This is not smart. It's literally the opposite of smart. Oh god, I died. <laughs> but yeah, very basic mode. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, move right along. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is Ghost of the Zone. This is pretty much Stalker. With some elements of uh, DayZ being put into it. made by Being made by uh, one developer. As you see there's freaking anomalies that you can uh like get the right thing out <laughs> it's early so you know expect bugs and stuff but there's anomalies you can set off that's crazy there's just anomalies everywhere there's enemies like snorks. I don't know what's wrong with this dude. Oh god! Uh, he got vaporized. Apparently. I just shoot out that window. Hold on. Oh, I did. That's crazy. But yeah, this has so much potential. Okay, thankfully, they're stuck on the uh, geometry for some reason. <laughs> Again, this is uh, early. So, yeah, expect a lot of bugs. It's crazy, man. Yeah, that's my pistol. Here, another one. But, uh, I want to see what, um, I keep pressing the wrong button. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay, so yeah, those are the fire, fire ones. Looks like there's only one over there. That's not, yeah, that's not. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with the AI. They keep getting stuck on everything. <laughs> I don't know why, but the loot container doesn't actually work. But, uh, yeah, crazy stuff, man. Just the ammo. Plenty of shotgun ammo, though. Like, all these models and everything, 
that you see so far and all the anomalies they're all ported over from the uh, uh I was about to say Tara, from the um stalker games and they do work i just don't know why they're stuck on everything uh, they were all ported over and put through Blender and whatnot. Again, it's all being made by one modder. Why? Oh, there's a thing there. I'm gonna read that. It's crazy. Like you, they even added a freaking system for showing your health and everything, which is even more insane. But yeah, you can actually add in, not add in, but spawn in a bunch of different things through the debug menu. Such as, you know, mutants, anomalies, all that stuff. Or, they got a lot of the cool stuff. Like, look at all these snarks, zombies, uh, Psy Sucker, Psy Dog. Pseudo dog. Wait, they have a pseudo giant? Holy crap, they have a pseudo giant. Does he actually work the. God. I'm dead? I have no idea how I just died. Oh man, I only started playing Anomaly like months ago, and I haven't even encountered my first pseudo giant, so I don't know how I died. But yeah, that's pretty much it for um, for that. So let's go ahead and move on to the you know, very next thing. All right, guys. So this next game is a uh, spaceship deathmatch battle, I believe. And uh, look at that. that's crazy. Like. It's just straight up a deathmatch battle. But uh, I don't have anyone to play with, so. <laughs> Can't really show off too much, but it's supposed to be like. You're supposed to be able to fight like other players, don't wanna just blast each other and fly around this cool environment. Hello? Uh. Okay. I don't know what that noise was. Yeah, it's a very cool little mode here. Again, can't really show off much, but this shows off the potential for what type of other games and stuff we can make from space battles to ground battles to full-on air or aircraft air warfare, I should say. Like the potential for this is is, is insane. Like, wonder, do I take damage if I? Oh, I do. Oh, okay, that's a cool effect. The shields have a nice cool effect, but also when you hit against the wall. Look at that. It has a cool little scrape of spark effect. That's so cool. Now your ship actually takes damage. And then you just explode. <laughs> Alright guys, so up next we're playing a mode called Zombify World. And pretty much it's just a straight up zombie survival mode. Obviously where you just run around. Kill a bunch of zombies. And uh, yeah, you uh, as you can see when I was back there, right, there was a shopkeep. There's like three of them. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but the AI aren't working. Then they get, uh, well, not then again, but uh, probably because of maybe a recent update to uh, Sandbox. Getting early access, expect some bugs. And unfortunately, this is only working on one map currently. So, there's that.
As you can see, you start off with a crowbar, you kill a bunch of zombies. Usually they would be running at you, walking at you, whatever they'd be. Oh my god, look how many there are. And there's like a day and night cycle. You have blowing up system, which is pretty cool. Got flashlight. Yeah, they can hit you still. Right now, I'm just trying to get enough money to. Look at that. Good, 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 gobo breaker. Oh. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some money so we can just shoot. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Weird. It is definitely a very interesting little mode. But it shows the potential of like what we can, you know, create using the tools for sandbox. Uh, also, if you didn't know, this is on the Source 2 engine. Uh, that's pretty cool in and of itself. Let's go ahead and uh, definitely heal up by some pistol ammo. I don't know how to use the med kit, so is it H B? Yeah, I don't know how to use the med kit. Anyways, got some pistol ammo. Use the model from Rust, unfortunately. I know I could probably bought something way better than this. Look at that, making money. Load. I know it's not as interesting to watch. Someone shooting standing still zombies. But, you know, I'm just really showing off the potential for this game. Like how far it could go. Shoot, it can go even further than this, so. I mean, potential is limitless. at that and the night time is over kind of wish this was a uh, global mode because you can only use this on one map currently so that kind of sucks but it's more of a proof of concept really than anything so let's go ahead got a different knife rusty pistol Desert Eagle. 400, jeez. Dang. 750. Might as well just go with the Deagle then. You can't buy the Deagle. You can't buy the Deagle level. Crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much this mode. You just buy stuff, see how long you can survive. Would be better if the uh, zombies work, of course, because you'd be running around training them. But this gets me excited for the future with like uh, COD zombies being in here and you know many different type of mode, horde modes and whatnot, which I really can't wait for. But let's go ahead and jump on to the or to the next thing. All right, guys. So pretty much you should uh, you know get it by now. Uh, this is a huge uh, platform type deal, kind of like Roblox and whatnot, where you can just create pretty much whatever the heck you want. I, I believe when this drops, it's definitely going to be big. Definitely going to be super fun. I can't wait. Like, as soon as this drops, the floodgates are going to open up. There's going to be, it's going to be mostly, you know, stupid memes and whatnot for like the first couple of <laughs> weeks, or if not months, and then 
I think we're still gonna get some like cool stuff like during the first you know initial launch of it but yeah I definitely can't wait until we get like um, you know like MW2 weapons ported and uh, you know has some like crazy VR stuff because this this thing comes loaded with VR like there uh, um, punch face you know Gary Newman and whatnot there they already said it's gonna be VR supportive straight from the get-go so you know we're gonna have some crazy awesome VR support with unlike with you know Gmod right now it has VARs a VR mod but very little support like very little people want to work with and add stuff to it there's only been like a couple of weapon mods and uh, add it, which you know saddens me but since this is going to have you know full on VR support at the start it's going to be major major things added in and I can't wait to like be like you know like Gmod realism Yeah, I definitely can't wait for more crazy things. Like, it's gonna be super awesome. To just, you know, see some crazy modes. Because the server, the server sizes are crazy. I've already seen servers that can have up to 100 people. Now, I haven't, you know, seen that many people in a server, but, like, the, the limiter was at 100, and I believe it's even higher than that. Could be wrong. But we can obviously create modes like, uh, that are like Battle Royales, or, which I'm not a huge fan of, or, uh, you know, just very big modes. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I really have to talk about in today's video i'm just super hyped and can't wait for the potential and can't wait to show off you know a bunch of different game modes that are hopefully be made in a sandbox from you know realism to vr and stuff like like imagine fully fledged vr stalker like game or halo or call of duty and whatnot like it's crazy to think about like there's so many different modes and things we can make I cannot wait to get my hands on. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, comment down below. If you'd like to see me do more videos on. As always, remember to take a step back and enjoy life, guys. And, uh, you know. See you all in the next one. Alright, guys. Peace.